Hi guys, I welcome you today again in this episode of Do It By Yourself in this great channel, Freedom For The Captives. Yeah, from the topic, you all know what you're about to watch. Yes, spiritual benefits of rainwater. Mm -hmm. Yes, the spiritual benefits of rainwater. Yes, some of us might be thinking, how would this happen? What is she talking about? Yeah, I'm trying to let us know that this is a great season. Yes, the raining season. This is a great season that people that knows how to do it by themselves, they tap the blessings of God, the favors of God, mm -hmm. the abundance of God's blessings. This is the season of breakthrough. Mm -hmm. From the topic today, it says, the spiritual benefits of rainwater. Mm -hmm. Most of you, you go under the rain, you see the rain falling without knowing that you can make, you know, your abundance through that rain. Mm -hmm. You can declare a thing and it shall come to pass and light will shine on your way through that water. Yes. You can cleanse yourself without water. You can bless your home without water. Yes. The rain water. Mm -hmm. You can even vindicate yourself from the enemy's attack, from the accusers of the enemy without water. Why bathing without water? Mm -hmm. You can pray for favor. You can pray for attraction. Yes. Without water. And you will see God of the universe making it possible for you mm -hmm. you can pray for more open doors in businesses if you are the person that way maybe you have your businesses it's as if things are you know rising and falling at the same time backwardness or the order of the day i'm trying to let you know that you can use the drain water to bridge to stop all those attacks from the evil ones mm -hmm. You don't know the, the, the importance of rainwater. You see rain falling every day. You don't know that you can get this water and you can liberate yourself from poverty. Mm -hmm. You can even cleanse yourself where you have poison. You can drink the rainwater and the poison will be dissolved. Yes. Let, let me not just go too far. How do we get this rainwater? You know when the rain is falling... When the rain is falling, you can get a white basin, you can get a stainless bowl, maybe a stainless basin or a stainless bucket, wherever it is, you get a seat or a chair, place it on an open place, place in the basin, place in the bucket, then get the water from the sky. Yes. Don't put your basin or your bucket maybe under the zinc. When it drops through the zinc, the water has been contaminated. No, it's not direct from the sky. That rainwater you got direct from the sky is very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. You can even spray it in your home when added on salt. Yes, you can spray it in your home and... The home will be calm from any spiritual attack. Yes. Let me give you one secret. You know uh, the Roman Catholics? I always draw my critical example from the Roman Catholics because they are the people that be some, some Christians, they think the Roman Catholics, they don't know what they're doing. But I want to tell you that it is a capital lie that most of the rituals that the Roman Catholic does on the Misa, on their services, that is the real. They connecting with heaven, but the issue is that it's only the uh, the reverend fathers that are allowed to perform the rituals. That is why most people you don't know what is happening in Roman Catholics. You only go there and you know you you read your rosary and you you know you sing and you dance and you go home without knowing a lot of rituals going on, a lot of spiritual tips going on that you can do it as well by yourself the holy water the main holy water that the reverend fathers use while conducting a mass while conducting services 
most of the water is being missed. They mix it up with the, you know, the rain water. That is why if you are a mass servant or if you have anybody or any brother that is a mass servant, you can ask them. Most times they get the rain water when the water is falling. They get the rain water direct from the sky and they mix it up on, 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 on the holy water that they used to spray in the congregation. Do you know you can bath the rain water and, you know, attacks will be free from your body? Yes. Let me tell you one more secret. Do you know that you can use the rain water while going on an interview? And you can declare and tell yourself and speak on that interview and say, this is how I want my interview to be. And lo and behold, that interview will be the same or the way which you have proclaimed while praying with the rain water. How do you go about that? Get a cube of sugar. If you are going on an interview, how do you do it with the rain water? What I'm trying to tell you now is that you can get a cube of sugar. Yes, you can get an original honey. Put it on a bowl, on a small bowl. Get maybe... Uh, uh, just a cube of sugar dip it on a salt get salt maybe a little quantity of salt dip the sugar on the salt then dip it on the honey then lick that sugar just a cube of sugar then after licking it then drink the water from the sky that is the rain water then after that on that morning of your interview, make sure that you drop a little rain water on the water which you want to use to bath. This is the time, the, the people that are spiritually minded, this is the time they make it. The time of abundance. Now that the rain is falling, why not try it? Why not give it a, a try? Get a rain water from the sky and see you being breaking through the season yes just get a rain water and you can see you you will stop begging money stop begging money from here and there whereby you can use an ordinary rain water and you know liberate yourself from the the the, the attacks of you know breaking uh, accent of money all the time from people you can break that bondage of begging with just an ordinary rain water yes then anytime you want to conduct this assignment of the rain water i am trying to tell you that there is a powerful verse in the bible that you can always use to back it up whenever you want to pray whenever you have the rain water and you want to pray for blessings what you have to do is that for blessings for open doors for this you can conduct it on it is meant maybe when you want to open the doors of progress in your life monthly when you get that rain water you can use maybe a big container to get the rain water but every first day of every month conduct this get that one cube of sugar get salt get honey dip the sugar on the salt dip it on the honey and lick it after licking it, you pray to God, as I'm licking this, this is sweet. Let my ways be sweet. Let my ways be open in the sight of God and anywhere others go. And because I will go and be blessed, any door closing in my life, I command it to open. God will listen to you. Then read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 13. Yes. If the Bible made it possible for us to understand in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 12. Anytime you want to pray on the rain water, make sure you read Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1 to 13. On, on, on verse 12, look at what the Bible said on verse 12. Look at what God is telling us. Deuteronomy 28, verse 12. The Bible is telling us, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season. Let me go back again. Verse 12, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. What do you understand by that? God opening his ways of good treasure for you. Is it not treasures of, you know, 
abundance, good health, prosperity, open doors, you know? Yeah, a lot of good things, good health. Yes, money flowing in your bank account like crazy, like water. A lot of benefits. Yes, any closed door will be made open. Good treasures, name them, ask God. Anything you want, is it marriage? Use the rain water, wash your face for favor. Are you a lady? You, you maybe you want to get married, yeah. Nobody they come in only for friendship and they will come and go, and no one is coming for marriage. Stop it, stop messing your body with them. Just get the rain water, make sure you use that rain water every day before you get up from your house or from your home. Read Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse Deuteronomy 28, from 1 to you know 13. But if you are asking for breakthrough. Or if you are asking for doors to open, read that Deuteronomy for seven times. Why are you going for an interview? Read that Deuteronomy for three times. Why are you praying for blessings, for open doors, you know, to vindicate you from, you know, the attacks of the evil or accusations of the enemies? Read it three times. And as you read it, God of heaven will open your doors of progress. Listen, let me see, go on. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all thy work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Yes, God has told you this. This is the Bible. I'm reading the Bible. This is the holy book. You shall not borrow again. Many of you, you are good on, you know, relying, borrowing on people. You know, relying on begging money all the time. Ah, hey, please, I need help. Please, can you lend me this? No, 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 no. You have to stop it, son of man. You have to stop it, son of God. You can do it by yourself. Just get the rain water for me. Speak unto it and light will shine on your way. God has promised you in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 to 1 to 13. Go through it often and often and often when you have the rainwater. Command and the God of the universe will bring wet for you. The God of the universe will even heal you from poison. Let me tell you, if you have a wound, that wound refuses to heal. Wash that wound with that water. Apply it on it. Clean that wound with that rain water. As you do this within that day to seven days, I'm telling you, 95% assurance I'm giving you, that wound will be healed. Is it poison? Get on that uh, uh, the, the water. Add a little salt on it. Drink it and you see it flushing your system. Even if there is poison in your system, rain water will flush it with faith. Let me tell you, when you are doing this assignment, don't believe only on uh, since I have the rain water, uh, it will happen. This, 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 that will happen. All these prayers, will, uh, if I can do them, uh, no, no, no. You have to pray. You have to believe. And you have to have faith in God. Because God is the ultimate in battle. And God is the ultimate in power. When you call upon the God of the universe, he will be there. When you call God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, they will be there to answer your prayers. And they will deliver you from all the hands of the enemies. From all bondages. They will break it and the doors will be open. The doors of progress will be open in your life. And you will march in prosperity you will march in abundance as you do this i said may god bless you and bless you and bless you thank you for stopping by from me to you i say bye bye i remain your sister i remain your friend freedom for the captives please subscribe thumbs up to this channel whenever you thumbs up that will motivate me to you know bring more and more videos to you share and comment as you do this may you be blessed in jesus name amen bye bye